Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. Our fireworks provider, CubFan135, has stopped by to watch the sparks fly as Etho and Hypno popped by to negotiate with me about all the stone I've been mining. You you give it to me and Hypno, we sell it, we cut you in on the profit, Joe. Okay, so, or else. so you're saying you want me to <laughs> or exclusively else. supply you with stone in the future. Or Hypno. No, oh, the actual permit holders. Mm -hmm. Joe, you have a very valuable thing well, here. I've also got dirt and grass that I'm providing to other people, as well as sand. I'm generating a lot of blocks. Cub, you saw on your stat book, wasn't it like 320,000 something blocks I've, or stone I've mined? 293,000 oh, yeah. stone mined, Joe. 293,000. It, so it was such a big number. Like, I thought I mined a lot, and you've like tripled or quadrupled what I've done. It was a lot, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, if you're good at something, wait. Joe, don't give it away for free, though. Exactly. Uh, I, think, you know? I think you're Science right. Signs have two sides now. Yep, they do. Oh, cool. I didn't even know that. <laughs> it's on there now. It's just yeah, there's there a lot forever. of secrets in the decked out lobby <laughs> because of the back end of the signs. Uh, yeah. Does well, that wax both both sides or just one? I don't yep. know. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> well, well that's locked in. <laughs> that's the why price can't now? you that's, unwax that's what the it signs? Is. I don't understand that. I think you can with that. Wait, does right? it not let you with the axe? No. I, I was told you nope. can't. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta replace it. I love yeah. it. How are we gonna remember what it's supposed to say? People. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. Cup That's it. why you gotta write the, the numbers on the barrels themselves, not, not on signs. Mm -hmm. It's a shame that what you can't <laughs> rename ender chests that way. I've got a bunch of ender chests that are named, can you rename these? And the answer is always <laughs> no when you? I put them down. It lets you change the name, but when you place them down, it still says ender chest in the upper. Oh, I've never tried that before, actually. Yeah. You can do it with uh, like chests, you can do it with droppers, dispensers. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was going to ask uh so Etho, if I say uh, in terms of the stone, I only mm -hmm. supply you. I'm not going to worry about the other stuff right now cuz like I've got separate deals with sand, dirt, grass, cobble, all that. But if you want 100% of the stone, what does that look like for me in terms of trade? Well, we got to work out a, a price point, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm also going to need thinking... shulkers to move the stone to bring it to you. Oh, I got you covered, Joe. I got I got unlimited shulkers from beef. Oh, fantastic. Well, that, that would so definitely I... make this a lot more easy, logistically speaking, because I have a beacon that started off as just a ziggurat of chests full of stone, and then I had to keep digging down below the ground level with more and more steps around this expanding ziggurat. It is just... Double chests and double chests of stone everywhere. How would you feel about like 20% of the profits? What was the price that you were going to sell this for? It's going to be very cheap because nobody's <laughs> going to buy it. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so I, let's say, okay, so let's say I give you a shulker full of stone. What are you expecting to sell that shulker full of stone for? I'm thinking, well, I've been trying to sell it for six stacks per diamond. Okay. I got one sale so far. Okay. Well, that might also be because I'm giving away free stone. Yeah, that's why I got you. I got to shut you down. Yeah. Don't you think like a full shulker with full of stone could sell for like a diamond block? Like six, hmm, six stacks per diamond. I don't know. Yeah, because there's 27 be. stacks in a shulker. It's convenience. You think it's too expensive or too cheap? I think if you sold it for like a full shulker full of stone for like a diamond block, that would probably be a fairly reasonable. A diamond price. block, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When, I, when I sold stone for in past seasons, the variants like the stone bricks and the uh, like the stone uh, chisel stone stuff like that, those sold really well. What what kind of prices were you doing though? Uh, it was like a diamond for like a couple stacks for like two or three stacks. Mm -hmm. I'd buy stone. I'll just say that. I'll, I'd buy stone. Would you? Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, so if you wanted to char try charging nine for a shulker and give me two, and then if that is too much, drop to five and you give me one. I think that seems fair. What do you think? Five. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that like all varieties? Because I'm going to be selling smooth stone. I'm going to have the mossy stone bricks. I mean, what I'm mining is just, I'm just removing mountains. So we're starting off with just, it's just stone. You're just right. going to, I'm just going to deliver to you shulkers full of stone. 
Right, but I'm going to make some of that into the specialty stone types okay. that I'm going to sell. Sure. So let's say that um, if you sell them for anything more than nine uh, for each shulker, I still get two because presumably nobody's going to pay more than nine unless you're putting moss and extra chiseling and stone cutting into that. That's that, that labor, you keep that extra money. Does that seem fair? Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a little complicated. I like I like strict percentages more because it's okay. easier to keep track of. No, that's fair. I mean, well, do, do you, I mean, you could just pay me on receipt if you want. You could just give me a bunch of shulkers and buy them off me for one diamond each, uh, or two diamonds each. I guess uh, if it's if we're trying to do. Tweeters. Okay. Yeah. Well. well yeah. Do I want to buy them? Yeah. Do you want to be in the hole up front on this, or do you want to? That, that's a good question. Because it'd be the easiest thing for you to just say, "Here is." 32 shulkers and 64 diamonds bring me back all this stone. Right, right. Okay. So one diamond per shulker, you're thinking? Or, you know what? Or two. I mean, it's I'd prefer two, because if you're going to be selling them for nine or ten, you know, that comes... That we are still roughly around the 20%. We're just not having to do complicated math. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, because, okay. I mean, I was selling... Um, I gave... Our good pal Impulse, um, 10 shulkers of grass in exchange for four armor templates uh, or upgrade templates, which are technically seven diamonds each, you know, mm-hmm. plus the effort of getting them. So what was that? That was 28 for 10 for dirt. And I mean, dirt and stone feel like they should have a comparable exchange rate. Two diamonds per shulker doesn't really seem that crazy to me. Okay, we'll try that out for, for, for now anyway. Okay. So, two diamonds per shulker of stone, mm-hmm. or, or cobblestone. Well, I was... Oh, do you... I See, I... I, I need both, of, actually. Oh, you need both. Okay. I mean, with Hypno... Don't Hypno, give don't, away my cobblestone. <laughs> well, you can't... I got mossy buy, cobble. <laughs> he needs to buy it from me. <laughs> well, Hypno, you... <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> this is getting complicated. <laughs> Well, yeah, I was going to say, well, Hypno, I don't have a delivery deal with you. You can just go grab a bunch of cobblestone now before I get over there. <laughs> I'm hoping to have some kind of automated uh, TNT exploded cobblestone generator in the future, but mm. not right now. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah, I've been tempted to make that too, but I got to shut Joe, Joe down. Otherwise, I won't sell anything ever. Yeah. Well, Hypno has provided me with a lot of iron for beacon bases in exchange for all the cobblestone he wants to pick Ooh. up. Ooh. Yeah, but, yeah. Okay, that's that's a deal there. But yeah, Dude, cobblestone that he doesn't here. pick up, I can still give to you. And there's going to be more cobblestone because I've got two netherite picks, one silk touch, one fortune. And every Saturday night, I'm going to be reading uh, a out of uh, what do you call it? Out of copyright novel for two hours mm-hmm. while I mine out these mountains. We did Dracula last season. It was a real hit with the viewers doing funny voices for the characters and stuff. So. Every week, I'm going to be generating two hours of stuff with both of these picks. So I'm going to be making cobble and smooth stone each time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. let's let's do it like this then. We'll go two diamonds per shulker. I'll mm-hmm. I'll pay you once I pick them up. Um, how do we do this? I'm going to need shulker shells in order to get them packaged for you. Is the big thing. Okay, I, I got a special plan here. So uh, when I pick up the the shulkers full of stone and cobble, Joe, mm-hmm. I will pay you two diamonds each one. Okay. You you leave them on site there for me, right? Okay. Uh, we're gonna have a special chest down here when you need shulkers. Um, I'm the only <laughs> one that's allowed to take them. So I'm, I'm just gonna take a bunch right now. <laughs> Those aren't for you, Hypno. <laughs> you took them. I'm just collecting them. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to share these, right? So these are technically my shulkers. Okay. How did you get this the special deal with beef? That's what I don't know. I need the. But if you up. need some, Joe, oh. these are my shulkers in this chest down here. Okay. You can load your stone up into those. Great. That that's fantastic. Cause yeah, I'm I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of terraforming work tonight over there. So uh, just gonna write down these coordinates. I'm gonna take a video. dinner break after my Hermitcraft stream day stream, and then do that one. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Nobody tell Beef about this box, by the way. This is, this, is, <laughs> this is our special box. 
And also, as as a contingency to it, no mm -hmm. more no more unloading free stone and cobblestone to people. That is not going to interrupt my existing deal with Hypno. He can still no. go pick up whatever he yeah. wants. Yeah, Hypno's still fine. But I'm not delivering any to him. Okay. But you could and if you want to be nice about it. <laughs> I'll allow Joe, you to use Etho Shulker boxes to do that. Joe is low-key building an empire on the server. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got a lot of good stuff, actually. He does. <laughs> Well, you know, it's just one of those things. I didn't plan on starting the terraforming this early in the season, but because I was, like, really sick for the last two weeks, I was just like, what's the one thing I can do that I'm not going to screw up and have to redo? I was like, if I start building, like, my storage room, and then I feel better, and I'm like, oh, I should have done that five blocks that way. I'll be really furious the whole season, you know? But I'm like, I can't screw up just removing a mountain. Other than all the pickaxes I broke by accident. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> nice. And if Beef complains about this, we'll just make him empty the, sh the shulkers full of stone, and he'll have to transfer them. Yeah, it's like, well, yeah, I guess that's the other thing, too, is in theory, once I deliver these to you the first time, if you have, like, an unloader, well, if you're going to sell them, I was assuming that you would just be selling these in the shop. Ideally, once I get the shop set up, I'll just, I'll make an unloader at the shop for them. Mm -hmm. Well, but, like, if people are buying, like, one shulker of stone at a time, you know... Mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't even need an unloader. You just rename it to, like, you know. I don't know if I'm allowed to sell the shulker boxes is the problem. I think Green explicitly said that's why this is a B-tier permit instead of a diamond tier permit is because other people... This is this is one of the only permits that people are allowed to resell as part of packaging with other things. Is that... Cub, really? you were there for that planning, weren't you? Is that correct? Or am yeah, I yeah. You can, you can, that? People can package stuff in shulker boxes and sell them. Yeah. Would you say that's within reason... Of my use of shulker boxes here? I mean, you're the one that struck the deal with beef. What did you give him in exchange? If it was pretty good, then it's probably within reason. But if it wasn't very good, then yeah, maybe you're scamming him. You could offer us something I nicer. gave him 45 diamond blocks for <laughs> lifetime supply. That's pretty good. I mean, I don't know. Uh, under good. the condition, I'm not allowed to just give them away. But if you're selling them at your shop, or you're using them as part of commerce, that's not giving them away. Like so, one piece of glass per shulker box, and it's fine. Yeah, I mean, you're not giving these to me. You're loaning these to me so I can fill them and bring them back to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, they're still your shulkers the whole time they're in my possession. If you want, you can get an anvil and name them Ethos Dirt Shulkers or whatever. Oh, okay. It could be like a grocery store where people get a special bag that they bring to the store every time. You know? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, thank you all nice. gentlemen for stopping by. And Cub, did you get to see my fireworks set up in here? I wanted to show you what. Oh uh, yeah, I saw I saw you uh doing the redstone and yeah, it looked cool. Let's, yeah. let's see it. I want to see it in person. Yeah, Cub's like testing more, testing more, buy more yeah. rockets. I know, I know. <laughs> so when you come in, it shoots fireworks down there. And then when we get a right. sail, it is supposed to set off two firework things back here. Uh but unfortunately right now that's failing because i think the uh sales system i emptied too many i pressed the button too many times basically oh okay I got you. um but when you do but, make a sale it like shoots off yeah let me let me fireworks. go flip that real quick manually if you just stay up there you'll see it uh yeah, yeah. go down in the redstone here and i've got a little stone button i can press so the idea is it sets off one cheap firework so so you turn around and then it sets off the good one after Ooh, yeah. right fancy so Ooh. yeah so cheap one will come out of here and then the good one comes out of there and the one that comes out of here will be visible from like uh, that stall or like the kitty cafe and that sort of thing that's nice. not going to hit your permit is it oh would that be i don't think it should i mean it hasn't yet okay would that cause the permit to despawn if it like hit it with a fire it'll, it'll fall off yeah oh I, let me see if i can do that manually i think anyways Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's got to be in a crossbow to do it. Yeah, I think we're okay. Looks, looks safe. Okay, it probably has to be in a crossbow to do it, actually. Awesome. Yeah, yeah now that I've gotten... Uh, yeah, Cub, I, I, I ninjaed over to your shop right after you were like, oh, nobody's bought anything, and then I bought a bunch of stuff. But then you weren't looking saw, at the boxes when, when Scar was there. It's like, ah. Oh. 
Yeah, I looked at the wrong box. I think he the, yeah. the, the low flyer one was in the furthest box over. So yeah, I, I saw it after afterwards. That's great. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, yeah no problem. Uh, but yeah, I gotta get a. I've got a lot of the crossbow enchants are part of my F tier books thing. So I really want to get people on the crossbow train. I figure if I start running around with a enchanted crossbow shooting fireworks, that might get people hype. Yeah. If you uh, speaking of that, Joe, like I have an idea for a game that involves crossbows uh, that might be. Could use some of those enchantments oh, uh, fantastic. in fireworks so yeah that'd be great be cool. yeah just let we me get know together for something on that yeah this looks nice though joe this is cool yeah i'm really excited yeah i might go get down in the redstone and figure out where the shulkers are overflowing or whatever because yeah doc has payment shulkers for the sand that are supposed to get unloaded or moved around every time you press that button and uh, the hopper ah. that feeds that is empty now, so I got to go get them from the bottom and put them on the top ah. or whatever. So I see, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be hard. It's just like anything I didn't design. It takes me a while to reverse engineer, you know. It, it can be tough to look at redstone you didn't make. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool, Joe. Awesome. Yep. So I'm gonna get back to it. Catch y'all later. I've gathered 55 shulkers of stone and cobblestone for Etho. And I figure we can just leave these outside his shop with his name on it, and he'll get us our diamonds eventually. It's been a couple days since I dropped off this stone for Etho. He has apparently taken the time to build his own secondary glass shop back here, but not taken the time to collect this stone or pay me the 110 diamonds I'm owed. So, you know, I don't want to hassle the guy. He's busy. But, you know, just to make sure he realizes that, like, time is passing. I feel like showing the inept, inexorable creep of agriculture here is going to be kind of a, a stronger message than anything I could send on Discord. We're just going to have some crops kind of slowly creeping out this way. Little bit of crop creep. Oh, yeah, there's no water on these, so I've actually got to fill them. Okay, you know what? This, this seems like a perfect job for the offhand. Hold on. There it is. That's how you plant crops without water. Look at that. That is, we're getting it done. You know, he'll be able to come by here and see that these are newly planted and growing incredibly slowly on this dry, parched ground. And, you know, that'll, that'll tell him, like, hey, wow, some time has passed, especially if these things are huge by the time he gets back here. You know, he's going to definitely be feeling the weight of the burden of an unpaid debt over time. It's important that you not hassle people that owe you money. You know, you start getting stressed out about something like that. No, take a break. Go garden instead. That's what I'm doing. It's working out great. Look at how relaxed I am. I actually am not stressed out about this at all. I'm sure Etho's going to pay me back. But, you know, he's basically getting rid of this whole build anyway in favor of uh, his new frogger bit for the frog lights and the new weird sci-fi glass thing he's got going on back there so i feel like this is funny other people on the server are going to wonder what's going on here and it'll make as much sense as anything else on the server that's the best we could hope for really so we're just going to toss some more of this here luckily the fields over here actually produce a lot of wheat seeds more than the uh ecosystem can absorb i've been feeding them into composters but this feels you know more productive we have planted the seeds that will demonstrate the passage of time. So now, we just need to go get some other work done. Time skip! Oh. Oh. Howdy, These Doc! These level 3 rockets are uncontrollable, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> powerful stuff. Dude, I regret my life choices just for bragging and, you know, stunting. I want to say, yeah, I'm making power 3 rockets, but actually mm -hmm. handling them is, uh, yeah... Oh. It is tricky. Okay, listen, man. Mm -hmm. The tree farm is up and running, man. We're good. Mm -hmm. But we have so many shulker boxes to haul. So I thought I have this super fast mule and donkey at spawn. Mm -hmm. Right? And then we can just load them up their, their chests mm -hmm. and then go back and forth quicker. So otherwise we don't, we don't have, we, are, we have to run like 20 times. That makes sense to me. I've emptied my inventory, so I'm ready to go too. Nice. Um, so should I yeah. follow you to spawn to get the donkeys, or? Yeah, let's get the let's get the donkeys. Mm -hmm. um, chests. We Do you have leads? Need? Can we can we carry? Can we yeah. pull more than one with us at a time? Yeah, yeah. That okay. that was the plan, and we okay, should great. also be able to easily get them up on the nether roof now. 
Oh, great. Here is another saddle. How do you... I have... Do you just... Ah, I yeah, think you've put chests on the sides of them. All right. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. Bomb. All right. Okay. You Where prefer a mule or a donkey? I don't care. I'm, I'm <laughs> fine with whatever. <laughs> oh, yes. Some riding music with it. Cool, yeah. cool. Wait, where is the shortest way to... I guess over here. Yeah, it's Let me easy just to go see. through the through the spawn um, mm -hmm. shopping district portal. Sure. What's this here? This oh. is Jevin's new elytra shop. I really like it. Yes. I always like this fog effect with the see-through glass. Do you have connect, connected textures? No, I don't, but it still looks yeah. great even without it. Yeah. I actually upgraded my unaffiliated shop too. I don't know if you saw his uh, glass stuff over here. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Like little glass mush mushrooms kind of things. Yeah. Yeah. So the black yeah, glass one nice. is unaffiliated, so I use slightly different materials for it. You went for tall and big. Yeah. Good, Joe. Good, good. I do what I can. Just on brand. Very yeah. good. Yeah, it'll remind people of the hourglass thing. <laughs> Yes. Do you know who made this portal back there? This new one that popped no, up right here? No, I was here? wondering about that because it's not regulation height. <laughs> well, I was more concerned about it being really in our area here. I, I checked it. There seems to be a witch hut on the other side. Yeah. So somebody was... Yeah, that... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, they, they went through know... the trouble of putting carpet in. Yeah. Huh. So it seems to be a serious project because I'm assuming, like... I would be somewhere around here if I, you know, start setting up portals for my area. Oh. Maybe around where the ghast farm is. Yeah, I, I was going to say, so your area, if, you sh if you're sharing a corner with me, yeah. it would be starting here. So I don't think your area yeah. would go back that far because yeah. this, um, this white square is 200 blocks here, so it's 1,600 in the overworld. So unless yeah. you were going to go 1,600 by 1,600, like that's pretty far toward my back corner. If not okay. past it, so yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I think you're yeah, all right. It's hard to gauge a little bit sometimes. Well, but yeah, like I'm, I said, I'm concerned about any portal that comes close to my portal sinks here because mm -hmm. many of them are like, you know, <laughs> chunk loading or whatever important mm -hmm. thing that should not break and connect with somebody else. So yeah, yeah, I'm kind of, you know, kind of picked this spot here, four thousand blocks out. I was not expecting strange portals showing up all around me all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was telling people when I picked my area, I'm like, this is really centrally located, you guys. You don't believe me now, but give it a few months and this is going to be in the middle yeah. of everything. Yeah, so. it looks like it, uh, looking yeah. at the portals <laughs> already. I love it that we always have heroic tunes in the background. Okay, here, Birch. We're talking about Birch here. Okay, great. So I'll now grab this these. Birch stash. Okay, grab everything you see. All right, and then let me know. Grab in two. Okay, that's it. How much do we want to sell a Schalke box for, you know, in the bulk? Um, well, let's see, because we were going to do four stacks of sand for... Uh, uh, four stacks of sand for one stack of wood. So this is 27 mm. stacks of wood. We can round down to 25, just so that's a, a, a 2%, or sorry, a 10% discount right there, uh, at least. So if we said a hundred stacks of sand, I mean the question is only do we do f we want to be cheaper in bulk, right? Yeah. So four to one we do individual. So how about bulk we do just three to one? So, so th three Schalke boxes full of sand for one Schalke box full of logs. I feel like the problem is nobody's gonna want to fill four shulkers and give them away, right? You know what I mean, like. No, they can keep the shulker boxes. They just need to haul the sand. We don't take the shulker boxes. Yeah. They just they throw it into the payment system, pretty much, right? Yeah. So at that point, so. I would say seventy-five, um, seventy-five stacks of sand, which is roughly equivalent. It's a little bit of a discount versus three shulker boxes, but. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, we don't want to make him count, right? Like, they literally, like, we want to have it easy, right? They can roll up there, mm -hmm. go like, okay, three Schalke boxes, boof, they fill up the payment system three times. Yeah. Easy peasy, right? They don't need to count, like, 75. Yeah, so, of... so three Schalke boxes is 27 times three. So, uh, that's, I guess, 81. 
That's yeah. It just seems like a weird number. We want 81 stacks of sand. Yeah, but in the in the shop we just we, yeah, that doesn't matter. It gets split up anyways. Yeah. But yeah, in the shop we then can just write bulk is cheaper three to one. Boom bang done. Yeah. And that's easy math. We don't want to confuse people. That's always the downfall of shops. Too mm -hmm. complicated payment systems and too complicated thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep you it know, simple. Mm -hmm. Like the concept is already more complicated because people have to throw stuff in shulker boxes and press things. Mm -hmm. Like in other shops, you just go in and drop the diamonds, you know, in the spot of the item you bought, right? Yeah, so, so I guess what's partially kind of be confusing, though, for people is we don't have a place that they could just drop a shulker. They can't put a yeah. shulker into this shulker. I know. I know. I was thinking, yeah, maybe... Maybe a filter I was thinking chest. maybe later we can expand, right? We will have a thing that is just called shopping bags, and then mm -hmm. people can actually come and take shulker boxes from us mm -hmm. to fill with sand and then bring those back, and we have a different module for that. That would be definitely something... We should pr probably consider, right? Yeah. Yeah, for the future. Makes okay. sense. All right, anyways, um, yeah, what do we have? To so solve? I've got I'm just going to throw oak. everything in the bulk and then we go from there. Dude, that's such a fair price. Imagine how quick you sh shovel three circles of sand. It literally takes you like five minutes tops. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. Yeah, I don't think that's it's going to be. That's faster than getting diamonds. <laughs> okay, so we're All right, uh, let me grab there? the rest. No more of it. Mm -hmm. To do. Man, I'm really excited that we're actually putting our first stuff in. Oh yeah, like so I've, nice. I've been ready. This is this is gonna be great. Yeah, sorry I didn't have time to uh, you know do any manual gathering earlier, but we're moving. Oh, all good. I mean now the the farm is up and running. It can do the all the wood types we need. Mm -hmm. Well, and this is good too because when Skiz gets back from his break, you know he can kind of see like what we've gotten done and then you know hit the ground. Yeah, running. we need to we need to kick kick his butt a little bit when he comes back, man. Yeah. Enough with the vacationing and taking breaks, man. That's not allowed. It's like now that you're well rested, <laughs> uh, it's time to you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. start chopping. Look, yeah, yeah that's uh, you know before he comes back, I definitely want to have all wood types stocked up mm -hmm. so we can really stunt on him and be like, come on, eh, where's the Where's the jungle? And then we let him chop jungle for a while. Uh, no, what is it called? Uh, the mangrove log mm -hmm. for a while by hand. And then eventually he'll come around and say, hey, can you help me with a farm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we take 50%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's going to happen like that, but, you know. I don't think so, but it's fun to dream. <laughs> <laughs> But it would be cool to collab at some point and maybe build a, a proper uh, farm together for the for the stupid uh, mangrove stuff. Oh, definitely. And we can cover that too. Okay, I'm gonna grab one rituals. of the shulkers of birch and put it in the front yeah. chest here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we can unpack two. I guess that's yeah. Two would be exactly a double chest. Well, and yeah. I've also got this set up so it it looks like these are chests that are like being automatically loaded in. It looks kind of like machine like, but there's yeah. actually multiple chests full of hop with hoppers, so I can preload these uh, pretty far back. Yeah, yeah. Actually. I will. I will hook up a, a uniform system to all all these to to. Mm -hmm. To load up. Maybe we'll have a, a checker when something is empty and we get a little bit of an alarm or something. And so yeah. we know what we need to refill. I mean, I'm not sure that anybody is going to be buying us out enough that, <laughs> like... No. You I, never I, know, man. You know, yeah. some of the hermits just do crazy projects, bro. You know it. That's true. That's <laughs> true. It happens all of a sudden. I mean, it sounds a lot. I mean, the, this farm can do, like, I don't know, 50,000... Uh, birch an hour or something crazy mm -hmm. but if you divide it by the theoretical amount of hermits that would use it it's not that much quickly dwindles and yeah of course you know another another kick with our bulk sales is of course people get a free shulker box mm -hmm. I mean that's another another kicker maybe we should write that down somewhere you can keep the shulker box for bulk I think that's implied. I don't know. Uh, yeah. we, we could, if there's if there's confusion about it, we could ask about like the people who are confused. But like, every, yeah. every everybody's selling stuff in shulker boxes at a certain point in the season. It doesn't yeah. feel like something nobody will understand. Nice. I yeah, I loaded a bit in the back chest here. 
Pearl says, can't say I'll can't need say to. Can't say I'll need to. You'll never <laughs> know, Pearl. You, do, you never know. You know where to yeah. turn. Yeah. Turn that hourglass. <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, <laughs> so. All right. Oh, I feel good. So technically, we're officially kind of opened. Yeah. We need fireworks. Good. <laughs> well, hey. I, th there actually is a sales firework too, though I set up here. In theory, this should yeah. set off one there. Yes, I saw. Yes, and I then saw one there. Ta -da. Nice. And then you can Dude, hear it I'm unloading almost, down there too. Yeah. That stack of sand. I'm almost tempted lit. to kind of dip into that idea too, man. We should have fireworks every time somebody presses the confirm button. Maybe we can make it a big show going up on the. You know, somewhere in the in the hourglass or inside oh. of the hourglass. Would yeah, I was actually trying to figure out uh, during the uh, the stream where I was working on this if there was a way to have like redstone going up on the arms of the hourglass. You know, like the wooden supports, <clears throat> Joe. and then shoot fireworks out each side. Joe. Yeah. Do you really formulate that as a question? Do you not think okay. I have actual four? redstone pipelines you know in the yeah we can do that but let me do it okay yeah well that was the question was could i do it without involving you and i found the answer to that no. was no i did not do that Please. i'm gonna point out uh i only we, touched you can, yeah. but, uh, let me do the wiring at least and so and we can work on the fireworks or whatever we want to display but you know, i have I have this thing mapped out in my brain where wires can go and where yeah. shouldn't go probably for the long run mm -hmm. because you know maybe we can hook up a automatic delivery system to here mm -hmm. so we can literally we don't need to haul donkeys mm -hmm. we can literally automatically fill this thing from the farm directly which oh. would be a huge time saver so and yeah. you know for that there's all kinds of space reserved for future um i don't want to do anything moves you know what i mean oh sure sure <laughs> Yeah. So, so I, I basically, at this point, I'm not going to really be messing with anything. I'm going to be reloading my yeah, fireworks no launchers. I'm pretty happy with the design I've got. Um, yeah, yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, I wasn't planning no, on I, doing much else without getting you involved. I, I was thinking somewhere we will have a secret door. Maybe it's going to be here in the middle, right? We can mm -hmm. get down and then go behind the scenes a little bit mm -hmm. and whatever. But, yeah, we'll see. I mean, you know, for now, I think the shop is operational. We can reach everything we need to. Mm -hmm. I need to uh, give you more storage space uh, downstairs for the for the sand. Mm -hmm. um, I think I was thinking maybe in the long run I put chalco loaders there. What do you think? Would that be cool for you? Like you know, just I, to send I, uh, automatically. So it feels kind of the thing is it feels silly to ask people to dump their shulkers. To, to empty their shulkers and then we refill them. It feels like yeah, we should no, just... Yeah, but, you know, if maybe, for the counting, yeah, 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 it, yeah. I only, we only throw it out because of the counting to make that accurate. I guess what I'm saying, also, though, is yeah. maybe we have, like, a separate thing where it's, like, place bulk shulkers in this chest and then it splits one bulk shulker goes to you, one bulk shulker goes to me alternating. Yeah. So then we don't have to reload them. Yeah. Yeah, we can probably squeeze that into the floor or something. I'll come up with something. Yeah, yeah. And if we yeah. need to move stuff but around, now, we can. We've got works. all season. Let's see how much people even buy. I have no idea, mm -hmm. right? I mean, the sand thing could totally flop if people boycott it and be like, no, we're not playing along. Mm -hmm. Then we have a problem with the yep. whole sand thing. Yeah. Definitely. Did you put that here, by the way? Or is that also from Cleo? I think that that is Cleo... Oh, yeah, pre-murder diamonds. <laughs> so was Cleo on sale but now free? Is that how that works? Yeah, I, I was confused. But I think that's her way of saying, okay, okay, I give you a little bit of a cut of the books I made from the village I stole from you. Oh. That's nice of her. And so this is the... Wait, I, thought, I thought she was petty. I thought she would never give in. Well, Man. the thing about being rich, and I think Cleo is fabulously rich, is she can just throw money at the problem. Oh, yeah. You know? Right. Right, she's stunting at me. Yeah. That's a clear provo that's that's a provocation. <laughs> isn't feel it? free to escalate this as you feel appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these shiny diamonds, man. She's throwing them oh, in my face. Hey, but that will get you your hundred sales trophy. Earn, what? The, the, but these are sales, right? Dude, you're right. Wait, but it's not But it's wait. not your shop. Hmm. Is it only for stuff yeah. you're permitted for? Oh my god. 
that's complicated legal legal yeah. areas there, Joe. Be man. Because we, like we might the, have to yeah. we might have to go over to the permit office and clear that. <laughs> oh, I I've really been trying to avoid coming to the permit office. It does not look fun. <laughs> me too, man. Do you know uh, you don't know how, how hard it is for me to resist my urges to uh -huh. not go to the permit office and try to find some loopholes and exploits, but mm -hmm. I'm not going there. It's scary, man. It's probably the most scary place on the server. Well, I decided you know, if I have a loophole or an exploit, I'm just going to do it, and then I'll let him send his goons after me. Make them come to me. <laughs> why Why would I go to him, right? That's true. Yeah. You know, that comes from a man that just explored 15 ancient cities, so mm -hmm. we finally have the complete set for of trims. By oh, the way, nice. we need to hook up trims here, too. Well, uh, Somewhere. Yeah, I was going to say, you're, you're probably going to get a separate shop for that. It doesn't really fit in the theme. Yeah. Since they're not no. traditionally made of wood. But maybe we can do a cool addition may, here on the side or something. Let's just see. Well, I, I think we'll you're right see. that nobody's going to want to build right here. Because no. it's going gonna, it's gonna, to like be overshadowed by the hourglass. Exactly. So That's any... the imit intimidation factor. Yeah, yeah. It works perfectly. Yeah. We have this giant built here and everybody is like, whoa, okay, I'm going to put my tiny things somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have prime real estate here. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> nice man I'm happy oh I'm so glad part I... of the wood shop is open okay let's let's announce I guess there's lots of people on yeah there. yeah oak and birch available rest this weekend alright if you want to say the pricing I'll add on what a savings if you mentioned like you know uh... super cheap uh, bring sand. Four to one. And then Better bulk. deals in bulk. Well, it's a genius advertisement strategy. <laughs> what a savings. <laughs> you're not biased at all. Uh. <laughs> you know, you're, you're one of these... I mean, that's the sand you <laughs> You're one of these paid, paid shills that, mm -hmm. I don't know, took some weight loss pill and say, oh yeah. Lost like 60 kilograms and I uh, feel better than I ever did before. Yeah, you know, I've n when you get a big check, you always feel better. <laughs> right. Right. Never looked at it like that. So they're not, they're not really lying. They're not they're really just... lying. It's like, I decided to do this ad and I feel fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Wait, let me then. I I'll guess I'll take my... My blood diamonds, you could call them now after yeah, the yeah, villages sure. are dead, right? Yeah, they it's are. not even official currency. They're renamed. Come on, man. I've, okay, in fairness, I've been renaming all the diamonds I give Cleo, like, individually. Oh, okay. <laughs> just so they don't stack in her system. Yeah, well, and I also paid her over 50 already because when I lost, you know, I lost all my gear once and I had to mm -hmm. rebuy from her. So probably half of the diamonds I just got are my own. Oh, wow. So there it is. Full circle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Joe, um, how do you say in the business world, to good uh, sales or something? To many happy returns. We need a haiku. Oh. Can you can you Can, you do a, uh, can I do a haiku uh, real quick? Um, real big hourglass. Not yet full of sandy cash it will be so soon i don't know <laughs> this is hard <laughs> is that yeah. coming from a hand puppet <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. all right catch you later I'm doc out. i hope you enjoyed that haiku which i've shared with you in lieu of mid-roll ads this episode that's right this episode was mid-roll ad free thanks to monate thanks monate this episode was also pre-roll ad-free thanks to Mr. Lance. Thanks, Mr. Lance. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.